Hey, Eric, the Beard of the Tool Guy. About a week ago, my Harbor Freight Hercules Ultra Torque Gen 2. This is HCB85B2 with a 4 amp alt extreme output battery. I tightened up this one and a half nut on my van. Well, I said on that video at the end of it, I want to loosen it with a DeWalt XR DCF891. But I want to use a flex volt 9 volt battery to do it. Well, let's try it. Speed 3. Now, let's go forward. Now backwards. Now let's go forward. Now backwards. Now forward. Now backwards. I'll give it a break for a minute. Not even warming up yet. See if it took any power out of the battery. Yeah, it's down the down the two cells. Okay. Now backwards. Okay, let's give it a break. Okay, let's see what the battery's down to. Still down to two bars. What do you know? It worked. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. It took a little bit of beating, but apparently if you can tighten it up, this supposedly can tighten to, I think they said nine. So let's say the Gen 2 can tighten to eight. Let's say this can actually tighten to 8, which I'm sure it could because it's supposed to loosen to, what, 1,500? So this can tighten 8. Let's give it 8. I think Torque Test Channel will know, but let's give this 800 foot-pounds it can tighten to. So, apparently, if you work on it hard enough, the DCF891 with a big enough battery can loosen what that just tightened now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up this same one and a half nut with the DeWalt XR DCF891 with a flex volt. But then, in another week, I'm going to see if it can loosen with the Atomic DCF921 with a 6 amp flex stacked lithium battery. Yes, I will use flex battery. As a flex battery is way better than the power stack. Okay, now let's tighten this. Okay. Okay, now let's see, in a week, so it'll be like the first day in uh, May, if the little atomic can loosen up with his bigger brother just tightened.
Eric the Bigger Tool Guy signing off.